Namaste. My name is Sandeep. Friends, today we are going to learn Yoga Warm-Up. Yoga Warm-Up is a series of practice that allows the body to open up part by part, focusing on certain parts of the body. Also, it helps in stretching the muscles and preventing us from injury. Especially if we want to enter into yoga practices, yoga asanas, if we can warm up the body, the body gets ready to enter into the asanas easily. So let's watch the yoga warm-up sequence. First, starting with the neck. Now, take a deep breath in. Whenever you take a deep breath in, the breath is not forceful. It's a very gentle breath. You breathe in slowly and gently. You breathe out also slowly and gently. So breathe in. And breathe out slowly. Now, this time breathe in. And as you breathe out, turn your face to the right. Without lifting the shoulders, without twisting. Inhale again back to the center. Exhale, go to the left side. We are now focusing on the neck. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Inhale, center. And exhale, left. Inhale, center. Now, exhale, up. Inhale all the way forward and down with ease. Inhale up. Exhale forward and down with ease. Inhale up. This time exhale and tilt your head to the left. Inhale. Exhale. Feel the stretch coming below the ear. Inhale. Exhale, tilt to the left. Inhale. Exhale. Now, inhale to the center. We will do a complete rotation of the neck. Exhale, bring the chin down. Now, inhale, turn the head to one side and then behind. Exhale, turn to the opposite and forward. One more time. Inhale without lifting or turning the shoulder. And exhale. Ending clockwise. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale to the center. After focusing on the neck, let's come on the shoulders. So inhale, bring the shoulders close to the ear like a shoulder shrug. Exhale, drop the shoulders down and relax. Inhale, shoulder shrug. Exhale, down and relax completely. Last time. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Now, we will stretch the shoulders by doing the shoulder rotation or elbow rotation. This allows the chest and the upper back to have a nice extension, nice stretching, nice opening. So, keeping the fingers on the shoulder, elbows down. Inhale, bring the elbows forward and up. Exhale, bring the elbows slowly behind and down. Inhale, forward and up. Exhale, behind and down. For the last time, inhale, forward and up. Exhale, behind and down. Let's do anti-clockwise. Inhale from behind and up. Exhale, forward and down. Feel the upper back and the chest region. Inhale, behind and up. Exhale, forward and down. For the last time, inhale, behind and up. Exhale, forward and down. After stretching the shoulder, 
Let's stretch a little of the tricep. So raise your left hand, bend your left hand at the elbow. Now hold the left elbow with the right palm, keeping the right palm up. Now start pushing the left elbow behind as much as you can with ease. The breath is moving simple, pushing the elbow behind, the left elbow behind with the help of the right hand. And now, keeping it behind, is it possible for us to pull the left elbow to the right side with the help of the right hand? So pulling the elbow. If possible, chin in front. Stretch nicely, feel the stretch coming on the side of the chest also. Slowly release. Now stretch the other side. This brings a nice stretch to the tricep the side of the flanks, lifting the right hand up, bending the right hand at the elbow, catch the right elbow with the left hand, push the elbow behind. Feel the stretch coming in the tricep, in the flanks, in the armpit, in the shoulder. After keeping it behind, pull the elbow to the left side. Feel the intense stretch coming, make your, sure you're breathing, after exhalation, release the hand, come back. After stretching the shoulder, now we will stretch the hands. So interlock the fingers, inhale, stretch the hands out and up. Pull your hands up, exhale, come down. One more time, inhale, raise your hands up. Stretch, exhale, come down. For the last time, inhale up, stretch your hands, exhale, down and release your hands. Now we will stretch and awaken the spine a little, warming up the spine. So both the hands in front. Just walk forward, keeping the back straight as much as you can. Stretch your hands in front. And after stretching the hands maximum, use your hands to push your buttocks behind so that we can stretch the lower back now. Hold here for about two to three breaths, maintaining the lower back stretch. Also stretching the arms. After exhalation, walk back. Slowly. Now place both the palms by the side of the left knee and walk forward in that direction, keeping the left knee in the center and stretch your hands maximum. After stretching the hands, use both the hands to press the left buttock down. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. Feel the stretch coming on the side of the spine, especially on the right side. After exhalation, come back slowly. Then go to the opposite side, keeping the right knee between the palms. Walk in that direction, keeping the knee in the center throughout. Stretch your hands maximum. And then Slowly use your palms to press the left buttock down. Feel the stretch. Breathe. After exhalation, slowly come back. This was lengthening or stretching the spine, awakening the spine, warming of the spine. Now let's do twisting. So in twisting, we will catch the left knee with the right hand and we will keep the left hand behind at the line of the spine without dropping the spine and keeping the back straight. Now inhale, as you exhale, turn from the waist region to the left side. Inhale, let the left chest open behind. Inhale, let the left shoulder open behind. And the last time, Inhale, exhale, twist. Hold for about two breaths. After exhalation, come back slowly. 
to the opposite side, catch the right knee with the left hand, right hand behind the line of the spine, inhale, when you exhale, turn from the right waist to the right side, inhale, turn from the right side of the chest to the right side further during exhalation, inhale, exhale, turn from the shoulder, inhale, turning your head further, hold for about two breaths, Maintaining the twist in the spine. After exhalation, slowly come back. After doing this twisting action in the spine, let's do a lateral stretch. So, bring the left elbow at the center of the thigh on the floor and raise your right hand up. Bring it close to the ear. Make sure that you are not sinking, you are not dropping your head, head is nice and tall, stretch your arms, reach out from the arm, the right hand going to the left side completely, maintain the stretch and if possible press the right knee down, keep it firm and also intense. After exhalation, release the right hand, release the left hand. Place the right elbow at the center of the right thigh on the floor. The shoulder and the elbow are in one line. Now inhale and as you exhale, stretch, maintain the stretch and after stretching, the Press the left knee down, maintain the stretch, maintain the stretch, maintain the stretch and after exhalation, release. After stretching the spine, now let's come to the standing position. So slowly stand. Now friends, we are going to again move the spine. So let the feet be a little apart. Open your hands. Now inhale. Exhale forward to the left side. Lifting the right hand, watching the upper hand. Inhale center. Exhale down. Inhale, center, exhale, down, inhale, center, exhale, drop down, last time, inhale, center, exhale, down, last one, inhale, center, and exhale, down, inhale, exhale, release your hands. Now we focus on the hip, so keeping the feet closer, about hip width apart and we will do first three small circles from the hip, allowing the hip area to open up, the pelvis to open up and then we will do anti-clockwise, three times. Now we increase the distance a little feet little more apart than the hip width and we do a bigger circle allowing to go to all the four sides and anti-clockwise and release after focusing on the hip, let's come to the ankle. So hands by the side of the waist region, feet closer to each other, maybe two inch apart. Now press one heel down, lift other heel up and then alternately keep on lifting the heel up and down. Make sure that when you bring the heel down, it is not touching the floor, it's little above the floor. So you are balancing also and at the same time, you are stretching the ankle also. Do it slowly for about 
10 times from each side. Feel the stretch coming into the front of the ankle. And now, is it possible for us to do it faster? Little fast, alternately lifting the heels. And now for the last time, can we do it together? Go up and come down. Go up, lifting the heels higher, coming down. Lifting the heels higher, coming down for the last time, lifting the heels higher and hold here. Keep breathing, keep breathing and slowly come down. Friends, this particular warming up allows joints to open up, making other practices of yoga easier. It will help us to prevent injury because the body is stretched and asanas can become easier also. Friends, if you like my video, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe so that you can get updates of all the new videos. If you have any feedback, any suggestions, please write to us. If you want us to cover any particular subject related to yoga, also write to us so that we can try to cover that in the near future. Thank you for watching. Namaste.